Good evening and a very warm welcome to this program on NTV. As always, it's a pleasure to be with you all this wonderful evening. We are continuing our discussion on the topic of interpersonal skills in our children. In the last episode, we had an ACE recruiter with us who told us that a whooping 85% of people who get terminated, who get kicked out from their jobs, lose their careers because they lack interpersonal skills. Not because they don't have the experience, not because they don't have the technical qualifications. So we brought in the analogy of a car and we said, you might have the most sleek body, the great wheels, uh, fancy interiors and an amazing chassis. But if you don't have the fuel, the petrol, the gas of interpersonal skills in your engine, unfortunately, your car will have to stay put in a garage. Now, we don't want that to happen. So today, we're going to look at two or three practical, simple, yet profound tools to help us to develop interpersonal skills in our children. And the first tool that we want to discuss is about motive guessing. We want us as parents to stop motive guessing once and for all. And we want our children to stop motive guessing as well. Now, what is motive guessing? Can I request the studio to play a small video to explain to you what it is all about? This is the You might have got an idea what motive guessing is about. Well, a couple of months back, we invited a very successful businessman come doctor. I don't want to mention the name, but he's phenomenally successful uh, and he's a businessman and a doctor as well. So we invited him home. So he came over and I had my extended family with me. So he spent some time with us, had dinner and he left. Now, surprisingly, he didn't pay us any compliments or he didn't mention anything positive. Now, I'm a person who freaks out on compliments. Nice tie, nice car, uh, a nice house, nice food, nice smile. So naturally, I felt a little upset that he didn't mention anything. So while I was sharing this with my family, a young kid from my family said, it could be because he's jealous. And I said, whoa, 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 hold on. Now, this guy is an international celebrity. He's phenomenally famous and successful. There's no need why he should be jealous about me. But unfortunately, that's what he said. That's what the little one said. This is motive guessing. Now, let's clearly differentiate this from behavior. The gentleman did not compliment. Now, that's behavior. But thinking and saying that he didn't do it because he's jealous is motive guessing. And this can lead to a lot of problems. Think about it, parents. We always do this. He is like that. That uncle is like that. That aunt is like that. Your neighbor is like that. The teacher did this because of that. This particular politician is doing that because he wants to do that. 
all this is motive guessing and the truth is we really do not know behavior is something that we can see and judge but the motive behind it well we can never be sure but there's a problem with this particular behavior when you start judging somebody your brain has got something called as a confirmation bias and because of this confirmation bias it will start showing you evidence to prove that your judgment is right it will even sometimes distort a little bit of facts think about it okay you want to buy a new car so you went to the showroom checked out a few cars looked at the websites and the very next day you'll start seeing a lot of those cars on the roads oh my god the, the, the roads are filled with these cars the fact is those cars were always there but because you focused on it you started seeing more of that similarly if i believe that that gentleman was jealous whatever he says or not says or whatever he does or not does my brain will start attributing that to jealousy and what's the problem with that well this will affect my behavior towards him think about this one evening the weather is extremely awesome nowadays let's say you're taking a walk in the park okay and you happen to see a puppy uh, sitting in the park and you see wow this is a cute puppy yeah and you want to go and pet it but the moment you go and touch this particular puppy he snarls at you and he tries to bite you and he says oh my god bad puppy your attitude changes and then you want to hit it and then you realize that one of its legs is bleeding it's hurt and you say oh my god poor puppy let me take care of you so your attitude changed from this is a cute puppy to oh my god this is a bad puppy to oh my god you started feeling sorry about him so because of the way your perception about something changes your behavior about towards it changes as well and this can lead to another problem okay the more you start behaving in a particular manner let's say you think that this person is mean and because of that you start behaving to him in a mean manner obviously he'll come back and he'll start behaving in a mean manner towards you and he'll see 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 my perception was right this is called a see do get so every time our children start motive guessing if you ever hear the motive guessing we'll have to stop them in the tracks and tell them how do you know talk about behavior he did this he did that that's fine but when they start talking about he did this because of that or he is like that we need to stop them from doing so because 99% of problems in relationships happen not because the other person is bad but because your perception about him is bad so you behave towards him in a bad manner and he reciprocates by behaving in an equally bad manner think about this you're driving on Sheikh Zayed road and there's a huge car flashing its lights at you and racing behind you what's your first perception oh arrogant guy but what if he's going to the airport what if he has got somebody sick in the car you never know you can talk about behavior but you cannot judge you're waiting in the queue at a at a busy supermarket okay and you are at the cash counter and there's someone breaking the queue and coming to the front what do you think about him you immediately judge him this guy doesn't care about all that what does he think about himself maybe he has already done his purchases and he has forgotten something at the counter and that's the reason he's there you are standing on one side of the road and you find a colleague on the other side and you say hi how are you he does not reciprocate so what do you think ever since he got his last promotion he's too proud he's the, he doesn't treat me the same way what if he never saw you at all so the question is let us stop judging let us stop motive guessing and let us stop our children from doing that as well you see some bad behavior you can of course go and ask the person why did you behave towards me like that and let's have the right perceptions about people and thereby let's improve our interpersonal skills if you remember in the last episode one of our young friends said people bully because they have lowest self esteem let me talk about a live case couple of uh, years back uh, parents came to us talking about a problem child now this child was in his grade 1 in a very reputed school in the region and he was forever getting into fights with his friends at school and in the bus and the parents tried everything they tried the school counselor they tried punishing him they tried rewarding him but it didn't work so he brought the child to us when we started talking to him we found out something very grave now this child was the first to be picked up into his bus in the morning and he was being molested in the bus one of the uh, staff in the bus 
was molesting him. And he was not able to communicate that to his teachers or his parents. So in his little brain, he came up with a solution. Let me fight with my peers and I'll be kicked out from school and I can be saved of this ordeal. So you can see how far and removed truth can be from judgment. So let us not judge people. Let us make sure that we understand the true reasons for their behavior. Now, it's, we'll take a short break, but before the short break, I want you to, to see and relish a small video which talks about the same thing. Let us stop motive guessing. Time to watch a small video clip now. In association with Atlas Group of Institutions, expanded with its new division. Atlas Group of Institutions, expanded with its new division. International College of Law, Business Administration and Technology, ICL Bath and Ajman. AGI's Atlas International College Free Zone, Russell Kaima. Provides undergraduation BCom and BBA and BCA, BMM, BSC, University of Madras. University of Calicut and Atlantic International University from the USA. Gulf Lithial, Nadi name, Nadi Lis the Hutta Kalimboli, eight two Madi of Missy in the Matananda, Namud and Adi the Duchi. In the last tension, in Ila, they within this one the Nadi Lis Wada, he pulled you in with the Rikin. In association with Atlas Group of Institutions, expanded with its new division. Welcome back. We talked about motive guessing and uh, hope you enjoyed the last video. If we make sure that we don't do it at home and uh, if we can stop our children from doing it, we can clear a lot of clutter from their heads and make sure that they start looking at this world without any baggage that we give them. 
they can start looking at this world with fresh eyes and let them make their decisions based on their convictions and let them have amazing relationship relationships with their peers so let's stop motive guessing let's push that aside now the second uh, practical and simple and profound tool that i want to talk about is active listening or we also call it listening to understand now before i explain this particular tool let me ask you a question this is a question to all the parents okay let's imagine that you've had a very stressful day i know that we all have stressful days uh, most of the time and you have come back and uh, you're worried about a lot of things at office and at home and and you're you're sitting down to relax and your son comes home okay he drops the bag on the ground he has got a very angry look on his face and he tells you enough i'm not going to school anymore okay uh, this school is not useful at all it, it it's absolutely waste of time and i'm stopping this this whole school thing how would you respond as a parent i don't want you to come up with the wise answer i want you to come up with the with the, with the with the sincere answer now what i have is i have my good friend edward who's a very uh, seasoned human resource professional uh, he has got two amazing kids so i want to ask him this particular question uh, edward good evening are you with us good evening Good evening, Sandeep. Yes, I am. Hey, thanks a lot, Edward, for joining us live on air. Uh, it's always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Edward, uh, le let me repeat the question. Your son comes home and tells you that, uh, and of course you're stressed uh, after work, and he says uh, schooling is a waste of time, uh, and he he's quitting school forever. So, how are you going to respond to him? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll take two seconds to find to digest what he has said first. Okay. And my response to him would be, "What do you want to do?" Okay. What is it that you want to do? Okay. Okay. Let's say you quit school tomorrow. That's fine. What do you want to do? Okay. Okay. And and how you you're going to ask that in 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 this tone in a cool manner or? <laughs> oh well. Yeah. With today's generation, I think you might want to use that tone uh, okay. before you get agitated, since he is already upset. Okay. And uh, look for a response from him as to what is he going to do. Okay. Okay. Without so, education. Okay. So I, I think and, what? Yeah. Please. And and given the scenario, what happens if he goes out into the world without the education that he's trying to throw away today? Okay, okay, okay. So I, 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 th I think I'm getting your approach. You're basically going to 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 throw the ball back to him, and ask him yes. uh, what his choices are, what his options are, and probably try to use logic to convince him that uh, uh, going back to school is a better option, right? This is what you will try to do. In, indirectly, I want him to see that. Okay, okay, fine, fine, Because fine. He, what happens to him if I if I put him out? Put him out, literally. Put you know, not literally, but the idea is to say, if you're out of the house tomorrow, how are you going to survive? Okay, okay, okay. Well, well, that's that's a question that they have to find an answer to. That's a real question. So um, I'm I'm sure that will get him thinking, and I'm sure uh, you know the rational brain will kick in, and he he'll, he'll see the light. That that would be a a, a wonderful uh, approach to take. Uh, Edward, before you hang up. Uh, we're discussing yeah. interpersonal skills in children. Any tips that you want to give us? How can we develop? How can we help our children build meaningful relationships? Uh, I think uh, being being Asian, being Indian, we have the tendency to kind of protect our children a lot. Okay. Uh, which is a good thing, not a bad thing. But I think we need to, at time to time, throw them out into the open. And let them experience and find out what the real what real life is all about. Let them make the mistakes. Let them fall on their face. True. Help them up, but let them learn it. True, true. Be there to Because support. The way we've grown up, learning of, the way we've grown up, learning the hard way has been the best lesson for us. Great, and great, great. I, I think I think the point is don't smother them. Uh, let them free. Let them go and and taste the real world and and let them learn in the process. But be around. Be there absolutely. to protect them from 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 harm. True. True. Perfect, perfect. Thanks a lot, Edward. Thank you. 
Yeah, you, you were saying something? You were saying something? Uh, I think this environment is protected. It's not. Uh, it, it's a good environment to let them go because we they are not exposed to too many vices in this country. Oh, that's great. And, yes, and it's a good thing. Exactly, exactly. The, 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 the limits are fairly well drawn over here. The boundaries are fairly well drawn. True. So this would be a good, True. good place to to experiment a little, to to let loose the string a little bit, uh, yeah, so that they can experience bit, yeah. the real world. Thanks a lot, Edward. Uh, uh, it was a pleasure you, speaking with you and uh, hope you'll join us again uh, on air. Thanks a lot. I will. Thank you. Pleasure. Bye-bye. Um, th parents, think about it. We'll very soon have another caller who is uh, uh, an ACE recruiter. So we'll be speaking with her in a little while. But think about this. What would your response be? I'm not here to say what the right response is, okay? Uh, because again, it depends on your home, the environment, your child. Uh, yeah, so uh, it all depends on so many things. So I'm, I'm not here to say what the right response is, but think about it for a second. Think about it for a second. What would be your response if your child comes home and says, uh, school is an absolute waste of time and I, and I don't want to learn, okay? Think about your response. We'll very soon have another caller on, on the line. But meanwhile, let me tell you I was doing a little bit of research uh, about this particular question and these are some of the responses people said. Don't talk to me like that. Okay? They said they'll scold their child. Yeah? What else will you do? <laughs> and, and the way they responded, you know, it sounded very sarcastic. They said, what else will you do? You're just a teeny weeny child uh, who's 14 or 15. What else will you do? And some of them said they'll try using logic without education you can't reach anywhere. So they'll try to convince the person with logic. Some of them would even do motive guessing. You want to irritate me, right? You don't want me to sit here, right? Uh, uh, and and uh, when you see me relaxing, you come up with something, right? Or you'll say you're lazy, you've got an exam coming up and you don't want to learn, that's the reason you're doing this. Or uh, you'll start interrogating. Who put this in your head? I'm sure it is that neighbor a friend of yours. I'm sure it is this person. I'm sure you'll get into an interrogation mode. Yeah, so uh, I think uh, uh, we have to discuss this in detail uh, and uh, we will do that. We will do that. It's time for us to take another break. Okay, so we'll very quickly uh, take another break and then come back and, and join other callers online. Yeah, we have a break coming up next.